Hey, we have on the board today this interesting looking exponential equation. Thought this would be a good one. This is a little different than some of the others that we did in the Lambert W function playlist. The difference I think is this plus sign because the other ones we've been multiplying and then it made it a little easier. And I think the addition there is gonna make it harder to work with. This particularly, we wanna get it into this form. We have this formula where if we can get um, the coefficient and exponent the same on around an e, we can simplify nicely, but that's gonna be difficult to do here. We could subtract a three x from both sides, but that doesn't really get us closer. And because we have this addition here instead of the multiplication, what we can do is we can make each of these the exponent of an e, so we can raise each side to the e like this. So on the left side, we'll have e to the three x plus e seven x equals e squared. And it seems to have made it worse, except for the fact that we can actually break this up and now we have our multiplication. We're writing the left side and breaking this up, we'll have e to the three x times e to the e to the seven x equals e squared. And the beauty of that is we no longer have any addition in this problem. And we're also getting closer to this format. You'll notice we want this exponent and coefficient to be the same. And we're, we're not the same, but we're getting there. So that's actually some good progress. So then you might want to try a couple things here. We could, you might want to get this seven X to be a three X and then we match, or you want, you could get the three X to be a seven X. It turns out it's a lot harder to change that seven X because if you put an exponent on this term, it actually doesn't go on the exponent because of exponent rules. So what we need to do is we need to focus on this coefficient term. You'll see that if we raise both sides to the seven thirds power, I think this is gonna do exactly what we need because what we can do is we can split up these two, we're multiplying, so we can put the exponent on each. Let's just kind of do that slowly so we can see what happens. So we'll put e to the three x to the seven thirds here, and then we'll have e to the e to the seven x to the seven thirds. And then on the right side, we'll actually just multiply this in. We'll have e to the 14 thirds. Then on the left side, we'll do the same thing. We'll multiply this exponent inside. So for this first term, um, the threes are gonna cancel and we're gonna have e to the seven x, which is what we want because we were aiming for that. And then here, this is gonna go all the way to the front. We can't multiply it on here. We have to multiply it here. So this is gonna be e to the 7 thirds, e to the 7 x equals e to the 14 thirds. And at this point you might think we have a problem because our term here and our term here don't quite match. And so this formula doesn't quite work yet, but now it's just a constant value. That was just a number that we can multiply on both sides. So we can multiply 7 thirds on the left and 7 thirds on the right. And now we actually do have, um, we, we are in the right format, we're matching both these, and so that's gonna allow us to apply the Lambert W function. So now take the Lambert W function on both sides. We'll, okay, so from here, what we can do is we can multiply three sevenths on both sides to get, so that we'll have a cancellation here. And then what we can do next is take the natural log on both sides. So we'll have natural log e to seven x, natural log three sevenths, w 7 thirds e to the 14 thirds. And here we'll pull out our 7x, so we'll just have, and this will cancel, so we'll just have a 7x on the left side. And then from here we have, on the, the right side's kind of a mess. What we could do is we could actually just divide by seven and be done, but I think it's a little messy. So let's see if we can clean this right side up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this other formula we have that I went over in the introduction video that you can check out if you haven't seen that already. But if we have, um, Lambert W of X, E to the W of X is just going to be X. And so what we can do is we can use this and just kind of manipulate it a little bit to find a way to reduce, well, not really reduce, but kind of change this. So if we just divide both sides by our E W X, this cancels. And so we have a formula for putting our Lambert W in a different form as well. So then we can just have this slightly different format wx equals x over e to the wx. And so what we'll do is we'll use that here to manipulate this. So we'll have ln 3 sevenths. Our x value is just gonna be this inside stuff, so it's gonna be 7 thirds e 14 to the 14 thirds. And this is gonna be all over our e value, so we're gonna have 
Oh. And then in the denominator, we're gonna have e to just this, lambda w seven thirds, e 14 thirds. So the nice thing here is these cancel and that's just one. And then we can use um, the property of natural log to split up the numerator and denominator. So we'll rewrite this as seven x equals ln e to the 14 thirds minus ln e w seven thirds e 14 thirds. But then here, when we pull this out, we just have 14 thirds here. And then here, the ln and e cancel, so we're just gonna have the w, the lambda w expression, so we have minus w seven thirds e to the 14 thirds. And then we'll divide by seven on both sides. And we're left with our final answer, which is gonna be two thirds minus one seventh w seven thirds e 14 thirds. I was thinking, I don't know how much cleaner that is than that, but I don't know, it just seems a little nicer. So I don't know if it's worth the work, but I thought it was interesting to do the stuff, so. Then last, we just kind of want to interpret this answer because we have Lambert W that we don't, we can't calculate very easily. But what I did is I put this whole expression into Wolfram Alpha, and I came out with an approximate answer of 0 0.08061 as a solution. And then how do we know that this is the only solution? Is there other real solutions? This is gonna be the only real solution. The reason we notice this is positive right here. And so when you look at a, here's a very rough sketch of the Lambert W function. That's pretty bad, but. So for every X value greater than zero that we put into the Lambert W, we just get one real value. We only get the two solutions if we're in this region here in the negative area. So we can say that this is just gonna be our only real solution. So that's it. I got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W Challenge. I'll provide a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.